Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get the perfect messy bun. I know my hair looks a little crazy right now. It's actually been in a bun um, this morning. So first off, um, this is like third day hair. So I will um, go ahead and put some dry shampoo in it. I use the Batiste um, Clean and Light Bare Dry Shampoo. I know like if you have darker hair, they do have one for brunettes. They also have one for blondes. Um, maybe one for redheads, not sure. Um, but even if my hair is freshly clean, I usually always apply some dry shampoo just because it adds a little bit of texture. It helps your hair hold more. Um, so what you do, just go ahead and shake it up because it is aerosol can. Um, go ahead and like lift up your hair. Spray it in there. I usually like to put it on the sides and in the back. Really anywhere. You can even add it to like the ends. like that um, some people let it sit if I'm putting up putting it up into a bun I really don't let it sit I'll just go ahead and um, mix it in make sure that there's no um, white cast because this one does um, come out white so you want to make sure that there's no white cast in your hair like that so it adds a little bit more like body texture and then what I usually like to do is I like to take um, a hairspray and just tease it in the front I use the um, either the Garnier Fructi Style Full Control Hairspray. That one's a good one. Um, and I usually also, um, I like to use the Big It's Sexy Hairspray and Play. This is just a little one, not my big one. Um, this is like a little travel size one, but I do definitely love this hairspray. Um, so what I do is I take my um, teasing comb and I just section off like a little piece in the front. You don't have to be too meticulous with this because we are just going to put it up. So I take up a little piece, go ahead and shake the can. Um, you really want to spray it down by the roots. And then take your teasing comb and just back comb it. Just push down to create that volume. You can really do it um, how many ever times you want. You can do it multiple times. Just grab another layer. For me today, I'm just going to grab it once. Um, so it does create like a little bit of volume and you can go ahead and like just press up on it and then spray it and it will stay a little bit better as you can see. And then what I like to do is take my teasing comb again and just back comb some of my hair. Um, this will give your bun just a little bit more volume. I think it makes it look a little bit prettier. Um, I don't like super small buns on me. I like my hair to look a little bit bigger. Um, so just go ahead and back comb just a couple pieces. Just comb up. And then once that's all set, you can grab your hair tie. Um, and then you just want to gather it all together. You want to make sure. Um, some people like a little bit of bumps. I think it's cute sometimes to have a couple bumps. It does make it a little bit more like messy looking. Um, so you just want to gather it all together. And it's okay if um, your tees went down a little bit. We can push that back up later. And then what I do is I take my fingers and almost put it in between the ponytail and just grab it like that make sure it's all smooth and then grab your ponytail wrap it once grab some of the hair and then wrap it twice and I know it looks a little bit messy right now uh, that's what bobby pins are for so then I will take I have um just some blonde bobby pins you can get um, ones that match your hair color like at Sally's Beauty I know so then what I'll do is actually just go in and just pin all the messy pieces that maybe didn't get in the bun or you can even use the bobby pins um, to really shape it however you want the way your bun looks is really just kind of up to you however you like it to look I like mine to be a little bit messy I don't really like a super structured bun so for me that would be pretty much good and then I have a little bit shorter of hair so I like to pull all the short hairs out um, and then I will just give them gather them all together in the back and give them just like a quick spray so they stay and then I will just take about like two bobby pins and pin them up back there I pin um, one like pointing left and one pointing right. I think it helps it stay. I just usually do about two bobby pins. If you need more to help it stay, then you're welcome to do more. And then usually I'll just pull out um, some pieces on the sides. I like make it um, look a bit messier. And then I will take um, like the pick end of the messy or the, the teasing brush and pull out the sides of my hair and also the front. So that's why you tease it because it helps it um, stay up like this. So I just go ahead and like put it in, just like wiggle back and forth and pull it up 
Um, I do this to the sides as well. I just think it makes it look cute and messy. I mean, if you like your messy bun or your buns to be a little bit more structured, um, you don't definitely don't have to do this step, but I like it. I think it makes it look a little bit cute. Um, and even if you have like longer pieces, you can even curl them, but mine are, I like the length of mine right now. They're um, a little bit shorter, not too long. So yeah, and then I usually give it another good spray. And that's about it. That's how I get my perfect messy bun. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them below. Um, pretty simple. Uh, I am in school. I do have to have my hair up every day. So this is pretty much what I do every day uh, for my hair. I think it looks pretty put together and pretty cute. Um, so yeah, that's my everyday um, perfect messy bun. Thanks for watching.